So in this video, I am going to explain solution of this problem which were recently asked in code forces round division plus plus division 2. So first let us understand the problem statement. So the name of the problem is split sort. So what problem is said that we will give that we will be given n permutation of n numbers. And in one operation, what I can do? For example, in this case, I have a permutation of six numbers. In one operation, I can choose any number which is smaller than equal to n. And after that, what I, what I will do? I will simply choose all the numbers which are smaller than uh, smaller than my number x. For example, in this case, my x is four. So all the numbers smaller than four are three, two, one. And then in the same order as they are appearing in my original array, I will append in a new array. Then after that, all the numbers which are greater than or equal to four for x, I will choose that number in the same order. For example, in this case, we have six, four, and then five. Then I will add six, four, five in another array. Then I will concatenate both the arrays such that my smaller array is behind the my greater one. For example, in this case, my array becomes three, two, one from here, and 456 from here now what what problem is asked we have to tell them what are the minimum such operations which can we can perform to make the array in, to make the array in increasing order so i hope you have understood the problem statement now let's begin to the problem solution so i have i i will tell you the problem with the help of this example so here you can see so what what problem initially asked so we have we can choose any number we can choose any number x and all the numbers which are smaller than x i will add that number and all the numbers which are greater than or equal to x i will append that number then concatenate both the arrays and we have to sort the array in increasing order so let let us try to think really so what what is the maximum number what is the maximum uh, max what is the maximum subsequence i can create from the starting so my first number will, will be always be one so i will simply choose so i uh, so yes so i will simply choose one so after that what is my max number which which should come after two after one so after one it's uh, my two should come now two is here now after two it will be three but after three there is no four so which means in one operation uh, i at max from starting i can create only three numbers so here the sequence has break bro the sequence has broken so which means i can only add these three number in single operation so my single operation will be this and i will i will get and my this array will be sorted and i will I, and i will get array like one two three i don't care about my next array but simply for a sim for a being my this array is sorted now i care about this array how to sort this array so after that after three what would game after three four would game so then four then four then after that five would game but there is no five then again I have sorted my four. Then I okay, care about my this array, which is greater than which is greater than four. So after four, my five will give. So five is here. After that, my six, my six is also here. But there is no seven after after six, which means I also get sort. The, uh, which means in another operation, or in another operation, I get my five and six here. Now care okay, about my this array, which is greater than six. So after six, what would give seven? So then from starting, I will again check. My seven is here. Then my eight is here. Then my nine is also present. And then but ten is not here. So in this sequence, I get seven, eight, and nine. So I hope you have understood the problem intuition. So what is the problem all about? If any point, I am getting that my previous number in the sequence of one to n. If my previous number has a greater greater index than my next number. Then I will simply increase my count because here, here, you, here you can see my 3 is having greater index than my 4. Then I will simply increase my count. Then you can see my 4 is having greater index than my 5. Then I again increase my count. Then my 4 is then my 5 is also having greater index. Uh, my, then my 4 is having greater index than 5. Then I increase the count. But my 5 is having a smaller index than 6 because here you can see my 5 is here and my 6 is here. So there is no need to uh, there is no need to, op to make an operation here. So but my six has a greater operation greater index than seven. Here you can see my seven is here but my six is here. So there is a need of operation over there. Then I will simply increase the count, which means problem is all about in in an increasing order from one to n. I will simply check if my ith if my ith uh, if my ith number has a greater index than my i plus one number. Then I will simply increase my count and return the count 
and if I show you the problem, problem the solution, here's the problem solution. I'm I'm storing all the aggressions of my uh, element in my map. Then again checking if my current element, if my previous element has a greater index than my next element, then I simply use account and print the account. So this is the problem solution. I hope you understand the problem well. So if you have any doubts, you can comment down and please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Till then, stay tuned for the next one. Thank you.